I mean, it's about lunchtime for these guys. <clears throat> Let's continue. Gonna be a pretty big parking lot. I miss the parking garage because you got a nice view. The Selly Northern Syracuse. All the way from Syracuse. Hey. It's looking good. Looking back. Huh. This is the new project they're working on. Basically all this is going to be brought out. A little bigger. More offices, so more taxes. <laughs> Hopefully they'll get it done by the summer. I mean, depending on the weather, of course. But I mean, it's April now, so May, June. <laughs> I mean, if they don't get much done within two months, two and a half months... <laughs> I like St. John's Cemetery. They got some, a lot of history here at this cemetery. And the trees are pretty cool looking. Huh, I got no idea where they put them. Huh. I think that's where one of my favorite trees were. The winter took care of it. <laughs> kind of sad. Huh. Sorry, I got really squeaky brakes. trees. Look at the size of these trees. Look at the size of that knot right there. Wow. That's a big one. And that tree came down probably from the windstorm we had. <laughs> Mowing the grass already. Kind of hard to get everybody, <laughs> but I'm trying, people. I always like to look around for interesting dates or tombstones that are so weathered that you can't even read them. A 
lot of that would be up in here, but it's very old. As I say, if he can't read a, a headstone or uh, use a camera, take a picture of it or just look at it through the camera lens, sometimes it's a little more readable. A camera, <laughs> it's, uh, it's contrast, it's resolution, it's much better than the human eye. So much easier to read. Born in 1862. Huh. It's a good year, I remember it well. Huh. Huh. Bernard Bezen, Bezeniter, Bezenfighter, died November 23rd, 1901. <laughs> I'm I kind of like the tombstone. Very nice. Some of these tombstones around here, they'll have a single stone, but they'll have like seven dates on them, five, six, seven dates. And some of the dates are like back to back. It's like one year, uh, one person died, the very next year, the second person in the family, the very next year after that, so on and so forth. It's, I would imagine it's probably disease a plague and some of them as I say are so blank you just really can't even read them it's kind of a shame the way they get so weathered interesting though It's a nice cemetery to walk around, though. I don't know. Some people think it's a little morbid, but I don't know. I like cemeteries. More Polish. Huh. Milanowski. Sobolewski. I hope I'm pronouncing them right. My grandmother might send down a bolt of lightning. Koenig. Very popular name in this area is Koenig. Especially in Floyd, New York. Went to school with a couple Koenigs. Brenda Koenig. That was her name. Brenda. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. Dombrowski. Uh, 
Jacob Beach, B-E-A-C-H, 1842 to 1924. Good year. Good year. Remember that year well, too. Frank. Mm -hmm. You don't hear the name Frank anymore as a Polish name. Used to be a 